That's Hamish Campbell back from the Occupy London. Uh, we're in um, UBS, the Occupied Building, uh, which used to be a bank actually, and the new bank's next door, so it's kind of interesting. Lots of bankers walking by outside. And today we're going to talk to um, a woman who's just um, who's been involved in Occupy Bristol. So can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how you've been involved? I can. I'm Tessa. I've been at Occupy Bristol. I was there, I suppose, for about 10 days during the day, and I've been off for about a week with a, with a cough and sort of yeah just taking some time out but I'm back now okay can you um I've, I've had a cough too it's been pretty bad hasn't it um so Bristol what actually happened in Bristol oh well we've got a camp on College Green mm-hmm. I think there's about um there's quite you know a nebulous group of people uh but uh probably a solid group of about 30 at least and uh often you know a couple of hundred people on the site um so what are they demanding in Bristol? What are they demanding? Um, well, they're enjoying having a space that we can all talk about our issues in and um, raising the publicity. And I think um, we, just, we just want our say. We want, we want to have a, make, make a difference and we don't feel that we've been able to um, in past protests. I think the list of demands, I mean, we have got one. We've got, we've got a kind of kind of standard thing what you'd expect really um list of nine demands and and we're i think we had a few people came down to london the other day and met in the um international or national meeting so um can you tell us some of the highlights from the bristol camp yeah what's sort of most exciting moments um we've had some family days um for me we had we had a meeting with Barbara Jank and people in the council, um, which was quite exciting for me because it it really didn't feel like we were asking them for anything, and it felt like quite a new way of of kind of doing business with the council instead of going cap in hand and begging from them. Um, we were kind of saying, look, you know, this isn't this isn't how we want it to be, and. Um, we're here engaging the public, you know, carrying out a massive listening exercise and perhaps you could learn something from us without being too arrogant. So that was one of my highlights and, and just also just um, uh, really talking to people, um, really, you know, so, about important things that I care about and, and, and feeling the relief that other people actually do, you know, care. and. Um, You've obviously been talking to normal people, you know, it's, it's, it's just, these occupations are very special spaces where normal people and activists can come together and have a cup of tea and just talk to each other. Um, you know, what are normal people interested in? You know, how does interaction happen? What's your experience? Uh, well, we're in a great place at the bottom of Park Street and people are constantly walking past. Um, there's the library bias and everything. But people like to tell their stories, how they've been affected, and I like to hear that because it's kind of piecing it together. Like I've learnt a lot about how disability um, uh, examinations uh, just seem to be quite ridiculous, and if you if you challenge the um, result of your exam, then you have to get your benefits cut. Well, that's so we're all learning about these different things. So I've learnt that maybe Gaddafi had 140. Um, billion pounds worth of gold bullion and he was going to back a pan African you know dinar um, so things like that I try not to I try to keep my head above the sort of um, conspiracy theories but but at the same time you know really seeing what the problems are and and listening to some possible solutions and, and gauging um, gauging the support those might have so if people are in Bristol how, uh, is there a website or is there a way they can get involved there is, I think we've, we've got Occupy Bristol UK Facebook group and um, a WordPress, I think it's WordPress, it's pretty much the same as your Occupy London one, um, but it's Occupy Bristol UK. Um, and we're often putting videos up on bamboos and things like that. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So um, check out Occupy, Occupy Bristol if you're down there. I think there's occupations all around the place. So head down to your local occupation, ask someone for a cup of tea and have a nice conversation. We might make the world a better place. Hamish Campbell reporting for Vision on TV.